let's apply some strategies to add three numbers at a time. We'll start by adding 56 plus 24 plus 2. Here they are represented in tiles. One strategy you can use is to regroup the numbers. Instead of writing 56 plus 24 plus 2, we can think of 56 like 50 plus 6. We can think of 24 like 20 plus 4, and the number 2 stays the same. So essentially, we're adding 50 plus 6 plus 20 plus 4 plus 2. Nothing has changed because we still have the same number of tiles. Now remember, you can add in any order. So let's reorder our numbers so we have all of the tens together and all of the units together. Here's what the tiles would look like. Essentially, we would add 50 plus 20 plus 6 plus 4 plus 2. Adding the tens place value of 50 plus 20 gives us a total of 70. If we add all the units, 6 plus 4 is 10, and then we have another 2. We could also add 6, 4, and 2 for a total of 12, but it might be easiest to keep groups of tens together. To finish our sum, we can use other strategies to help us. We added 6 and 4 first because they were a bridge to 10. But what other strategies might work? Why not use a number line? If we want to add 70, 10, and 2, we could start by plotting the number 70 on the number line, adding 10 spaces to that, and then 2 more landing at the number 82. This tells us that our sum of 56 plus 24 plus 2 is 82. Let's look at what we did again. We regrouped our numbers to 50 plus 6, 20 plus 4, plus 2. Since we can add in any order, we rearranged our numbers, then added the place values separately. 50 plus 20 gave us 70, 6 plus 4 gave us 10, and then another 2 more. We used a number line to help us see the sum of 70 plus 10 plus 2, which was 82. So, 56 plus 24 plus 2 is also 82.